Mythic! Mythic with a four rare deck. Let's go! Smashing, let's go. Hey, hey, it's Mythic Mike back with another great standard deck. Today, guys, we're in the top thousand Mythic. We crush, we lose like two games. And uh, our strategy is to board wipe ourselves. That's right. And then we have creatures that can come back from the dead and some case of the Gorgon's Kiss, which will make a 4-4 four, four lifelink with death touch if three creatures died. So when we board wipe ourselves and them, obviously, if they're there, this will come back as a 4-4. Four, four, and then we can play everything from the dead anyways, baby. It's a crazy strategy. What's very cool about it is it still has the mono black shell. I made a mono black recently which was very nice. The only downside of it is against Boros um, Convoke, the deck you see everywhere with War Leader's Call. It did struggle a little bit. You know, if we're on the play, we can blast through with our Menace, but it did struggle because they just go so quick, right? Well, I don't know why everyone's not playing this, this card, but this is a two mana board wipe against them to kill all creatures. And you need this kind of board wipe because the board wipes that just kill creatures with mana value two or less, they don't kill the big five mana knight that they use to convoke. So you need this one. Now we are playing some Path of Peril. We started without it and um, we switched to this. I think we're, I'm only showing games now where we are, where we included this and this. But uh, yeah, we're still of this. And what's cool is this can kill all creatures too, right? For six mana. But I mean, look, we'll kill all the small creatures too. And against mono red, this is still amazing. And then we are pairing it. We got the Skeleton Boys. We got, uh, you know, the one, the two. Uh, this is the new one. It's the case 2-1 Skeleton with Menace because it's suspected it can't block. If this specific Skeleton dies, uh, then it's solved. And then we can tutor, pay two mana, uh, sacrifice the case, which is a Descend Trigger, which is relevant for uh, this. And then we get any card. So what's nice is when we board wipe ourselves, we kill the skeleton and solve the case. And then we can just redraw any card we want. And um, this comes back from the dead. We don't care if it, as long as a non-skeleton dies, we don't care if we kill this, right? And then we're using the skeleton lord we've been, we've been using, right? It makes a 3-2 skeleton every turn. And if you descend, which means a permanent one in your graveyard, then you put it back to your hand. So, you know, this is, I've done it before. One, two, three, turn three skeletons, three Skeletons with three power and this one with menace swinging in turn three. So this can just beat people down as well. But when we board wipe ourselves, we're probably going to kill one of our own creatures. So this will go back to our hand. We'll kill our skeleton, solve the case. This will come back. <laughs> like you get the point, right? We're not losing value by board wiping. And look, we usually don't want to completely just board wipe ourselves if they have nothing. But look, if they've got a couple creatures, we've got a couple creatures. We're more than happy resetting the playing field and then playing out our value, right? Um, the other very cool card, right? Icar Drinker's been around, but it can come back from the dead because you pay one, turns into a little incubate token, two to make a two, two. Uh, this one, when it dies, you scry one, make a treasure token. Um, so it has value. This one's super nice, actually, uh, in these Boros Convoke and it gets mono red. Because, look, zero threes are kind of hard to get by early on. And then when it dies, you gain one life, draw a card. Awesome. And we'll just wipe, get a card, you know, get a treasure, come back from the dead. Uh, and what I had mentioned is this is a new case that we're kind of breaking here. We only put three in just because you don't, you want one on the battlefield. You don't really want a bunch. In, especially in a control matchup, which sometimes we hit. It is great against creatures, though. Um, but when this case enters the battlefield, destroy up to one target creature that was dealt damage this turn. So if we swing in with our little 1-1 one, one, and they block with a 4-5 with Sheldred, we play this, it kills their creature, and then it solves if three or more creature cards were put in the graveyard. So that play pattern just killed this and it killed the Sheldred. So we just need one more creature to go in the graveyard, which we can do in a variety of ways. Um, one way to, I mean, first of all, they might just block another creature. Uh, it doesn't really work with the tokens, though, so you do have to watch out there. But the other thing is we got four Annihilating uh, Gaze. Uh, as an additional cost, you may pay for or sacrifice an artifact or creature. So we'll sacrifice a creature, kill their creature. That's two right there, right? So it's very easy to get three creatures in the bitten in a turn. 
and then this turns into a 4-4 with Death Touch and Lifelink. People will just scoop. And what's cool is we can just put these on the battlefield and not even care about the first chapter and just start playing our things out. And then when we wipe with one of our board wipes, right? Destroy all creatures, mana value two or less, or six, destroy all creatures. And this one, this spell costs one less to cast for each creature on the battlefield. So it's two mana, usually, two white. You have to watch out there, right? We do have a good amount of black, but usually we get two white. We can even find two white with the tutor on this, which is pretty cool, or find a white, but destroy all creatures, right? So this is just going to be so cheap because we're playing out creatures and also against any kind of Boros Convoke or Mono Red deck, goodbye, we can play this for two. And if we've got one or two of these out, then it'll trigger this. We'll get these four, four Death Touch Lifelink creatures. So it's just kill ourselves, play everything back. This tutors automatically. These will turn into four fours. This will go back to our hand. I mean, draw a card, get a try. You see the point, right? It's just a hilarious strategy that works. And the reason it works so well is because we can beat them down. We've got a lot of good things against control. And it just crushes Boros Convoke. Get out of my games, Boros Convoke. Um, last one, Ash Nods is very nice. It comes back from the dead at least once. When it attacks, exile a card from a graveyard. You do have to exile a card, so watch out. But look, we'll mess up some reanimation strategies and things like that too. And it's just, that's some damage. A 3-1, then come back from the dead is damage. Um, is that the deck? Four creature lands, because who cares? We do need all like the dual color lands there uh, to help with this. Let's get into the games, guys. I, I think I switch one of the early games, the order and stuff, you know, just to put some fun games up soon. But we lose twice in the whole session. Uh, smash. So yeah, I make a unique deck every single day. Remember to like and subscribe. Let's get into the games and let's break some hearts. Let's get it done. We have this one-off lifelink bat. I forgot to say that. It comes back from the dead too. We can find it with Case of the Skeleton. All right, now let's get it done. All right, King Death 1989. He's a year younger than me. It's weird, I don't care about the top lands in this deck. I guess it's because we have the uh, board wipes, right? Oh yes, poor guy. Poor guy. I would like two lands so that we can put the case. I mean, I guess we can just put the case next turn, right? We will solve the case next turn, which is nice. Now, it's interesting. We're going to break some hearts, dude. We're targeting this deck, by the way. <laughs> I feel like we haven't played it that much, but this is exactly what we're targeting. So one land would be best. We could use this one. Otherwise, we have to use this one, but two mana, dude. Let's go. All right, we have to use that one now anyways. Ooh, well, that's pretty good, though, that he got that. Although we do have a 4-4 four, four life. Yeah, that's some good draws right there, huh? Our case flips. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, are we just getting screwed over by lands, though? How is he going to get by a 4-4 Death Touch lifelink? <laughs> Come on, that's a really good combo, right? Who thought of that combo? Mythic Moik. <laughs> He's freaking out. He's like, what? <laughs> Let's go! All right, Tasty Lobster. We got a banger. We got a banger. Just give her our... Give us our turn three skeleton and uh, we'll be happy. I love skeletons. They're the best. They're the best. It is a little too bad. Like I said, I think flashing white in here is for sure the way to do skeletons. Because skeletons come back from the dead. This one comes back from the dead. The three drop can descend and make more. 
And this one you kind of want to kill. So you can, like I said, you can sell board wipe. I mean, I don't know if anyone else is doing it, but that's how I'm playing it. <laughs> I'm a self board white man and I'm sticking to it. Now I would like, this is, hmm. okay, okay. so he's going for board wipes too, huh? Is he getting there? Does he have the board wipe already? So he's going to make me discard a card. I mean, I guess... I guess it's Path of Peril, since he doesn't really seem to have creatures. He's like, what is he doing with that? Okay. Oh, bat? Yeah, I'll take bat. <laughs> Ooh, one land. Um, I mean, it's still pretty good, right? Still pretty good. It's funny, we're, we kind of want things to die... I am saving it. He might make me discard, right? What are you going to kill, sir? Hey! We're both bat... bat... Man. Shoot. for my bat, please. He does gain two life. I guess we do want that, right? Yeah. Because we can tutor. Solve, solve, solve. We get our 4-4. Four, four. Wow! Come on, that was nice, right? 4-4 four, four death touch. Dude, we're out here just we're out here just living in the top thousand with shenanigans. Who else is trying to kill their own stuff like this? <laughs> Alright, it's tapped, sir. That's tapped. You can kill one of them. Will it matter?
we got another one. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We've made a masterpiece. Who else? This is 4D chess, baby. 4D chess. Come on. Let's go. All right, Alex. What are you playing to get to 84%? <laughs> All right. I guess we'll have to see. I feel like some jank is what beats us sometimes, though. We'll see. Dude, this plan feels good, baby. Why did everyone forget about this? Goodbye, Convoke. We're playing this for two mana. And if you don't play creatures, we'll play creatures to make it cheap. <laughs> we'll play our creatures from the dead. Do you want to kill my skeleton that uh, solves the case? Or my Icar drinker I can get back? <laughs> Alright. Whoa. I guess no blocks. So if I kill this, I have two cases solved. If I, if I wipe myself. If I wipe myself, I have two cases and this from the dead. Alright, what are you doing? You're playing fairies? Fairies, dude. In this... In this Boros Convoke meta, you're out of your mind. <laughs> you're out of your mind, sir. I did make a sick spirits deck, actually. Uh, not last set, but the set before. I should revisit it. I think it's still good. Mm, I had some crazy tricks. Hmm. Do we want to solve it or just get damage in, huh? I mean, he can't block those things that menace. Right, I mean, it doesn't seem like he's got a board wipe. <laughs> but then you never know. We, we're sitting on a board wipe with a, with a board like this. Let's go. Ooh, he solved one of our cases for us. I guess we don't have to do it ourselves. Yeah, why not? We'll solve both our cases, right? Draw a card. Let's go. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Solved our cases, got our bat. Let's go. All right, boom man, let's go. Weird we don't have white, but we have a nice hand regardless. Can mess him up in his graveyard, right? That's weird. All right. Hopefully he can't get it back right now. <laughs> I guess he has two things in there, though. Let's 
Whoa, he has a lot of stuff, huh? Alright, or, or is our mono bl Man, weird mana, right? We we mostly don't have just plant. Uh... Ooh, cut down's good. Cut down is good. Yeah, I mean, he picked the right one, right? <laughs> It'd be pretty crazy to do the other one. So he probably can do it now, right? What the heck? We need one more white, and we can do this, right? I love how he was acting like there was a difference there. Whoa! Do you not have reanimate yet? There it is. <laughs> Why do you take that back? So these have haste, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and menace. So I think he might have just lost. Although, actually, he saved himself. If he had... Oh, no, he's dead. If he had picked up what he wanted, though, um, he'd have no mana to do the cut down, right? Alright, this was just an easy mono black skeleton win. Let's go. I'll take it. I mean, that's the thing. This still has an aggro shell at its base. Even though we're wiping ourselves is what it is baby let's go all right grop i don't know how to say that uh 1059 it's an interesting one very tapped lands right but uh whatever i mean we're kind of we have an early game strategy but we're also just in it for the late game Ooh, baby i know this deck give me some lands and let's punish them I guess we'll do this one first. Let's go, baby. You know we're going to beat this this deck with our crazy Vanquish the Horde strategy. Let's go, baby. That's the thing. Every deck has to target this deck. My other mono black deck was good, but it doesn't quite target this deck. Right? It's hard to get... Oh, my God. Yes. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're getting damage in, too. Whoa. First of all, you kind of blocked the wrong... I guess you had to block that one, but... No, you could have double blocked this. Hmm. So, usually these people don't like to block, right? Because they like to build. Have we already broken his heart? I mean, maybe he missed a land, but regardless, we have two board wipes and a bat. <laughs> and this. And draw on a card. I mean, he's just not going to come. We just, we're going to win. We're just going to win. Okay, he's fine. He's still doing his things. So the reason we're doing this, we want this on, this is going to descend for us when we board wipe and we're going to get this back to our hand and we'll draw a card off it. Mm. 
So is he missing a land? Is that his issue? Again, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I would rather he play all his creatures out. I don't think he can just like kill me, right? Oh, wow. So he's got a little bit of a... Uh... Okay, that is interesting. That might change things. Let's see. I mean, we just need a skeleton and we win. Yeah. Oh, that's not a skeleton. <laughs> Watch this, though. Watch the play. Are you ready? Are you ready? Board wipe. Oh, wait. Oh, no! Those were tokens. Those were tokens. <laughs> Oh my god, he had so many tokens that we didn't get uh, three creatures. Whatever. You get the point. Usually those are creatures, three die, and we board wipe. Oh wait, I could have just taken this out, huh, to win? <laughs> or was that already out? Who knows? Did I just kill it, or did I just mess up? Who cares? I wanted to show the combo, and I just... Uh, you know, just is what it is. We have a bat to finish it off. This deck doesn't have removal. Besides this. The bat! The bat! Let's go. Has this deck somehow added removal? I doubt it, right? You know, it wasn't a clean game, but we took him down. All right, Jen. Played Jen a million times. 1367. Our land's weird, right? But, I mean, one more land and we are doing stuff. We can get to this eventually. Uh, I need one more land, please. We have 25 in here. <laughs> oh, baby. You solved my case. I'm going to get a land, honestly. Maybe not. Oh, we got more cutdowns in here? This is a skeleton maker, baby. You can kill one. We're coming back. We're coming back for more. Okay. Okay. So this will force a descent. Which I think is good enough. Yo, we're getting a skeleton, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, that ain't bad. A Descend Trigger and a Skeleton? I know I could have got something cooler. But why? But why? My god, though. Give me some lands. <laughs> We're running circles. Oh, we have three of these. That's a, little, that's a little too much in our hand. We have no white men. <laughs> Whatever, man. We'll get there. We'll get there. Ooh, that's the wrong one. Jen, what are you doing, man? The wrong one. <laughs> Let's show her what we're doing. <laughs> we're playing all black mana. We show it Vanquish of the Horde. <laughs> that's pretty funny, right? It's at least a little funny. It's at least a little funny.
I'm actually a little confused how this person has so many cards left. One, two, three, four. Did they draw cards? What's happening here? They start with 15 cards. <laughs> we both are getting mana screwed, it looks like. We have the same mana. We're just like, ah. All right, whatever, though. Honestly, skeletons are good enough, right? Skeletons are good enough. <laughs> when this comes in as a 3-1 with haste, menace. Okay. So we do solve. Wait. Oh, it already is solved. Right? Oh, no. <laughs> I put another skeleton in play. Do I solve it? I don't think so. I think we like our skeletons. I didn't mean to even press that. <laughs> Skeletons for the win, baby! <laughs> I can't believe I'm winning and I had three of these in my hand. Yo, sorry, Jen. You're trying to board wipe us? We're the we're board wiping ourselves, man. Wait, what did he kill? Rebooter, huh? I'm not sure that's the one to kill. <laughs> uh you better have another removal in there. Dude, we are absolutely smashing. All right, well, it's solved now. It is solved. We have no more. We can just get whatever card we want, including our haste skeleton. Watch this. Oh, you got life gain? We have a menace, haste, skeleton. Guys, we've won like five in a row or something. Let's go. All right, BRXD Co. 1713, let's go. Whoa, that looks beautiful, huh? It looks beautiful to me. Guess there's no reason not to get that down. So we do have a two, three, turn two and turn three skeleton. Oh. All right, I mean, we have a million ways to kill it, right? <laughs> he should take case of stash skeleton, I think. The bats. These bat fools. I do like the bats. They're nice. I don't think they're as good in this meta. Maybe in this... I mean, actually, that's different colors. Maybe in blue-black it's still okay, but... I mean... You steal one of Boros Convoke, and what are you going to do? They just took my board wet? I can still kill you, sir. <laughs> In fact, I can solve my skeleton to kill you. Whoa. Brad, 1713, you, you're a baller. 
You're a baller shot collar, 20 inch rims on the Impala. Because I would have played the right side of that. <laughs> if I knew that skeletons were smashing in. I guess he doesn't know about the second one. Whoa! I guess he doesn't know about the second... Oh, okay. So he does have removal, huh? Whoa, he doesn't want it. Who is this man? Who is this man? In all his glory. Skeletons! Oh my god, we got another one, dude. What are you doing, Brad? Brad is risky. He doesn't take the removal. He puts it on that instead of growing his creature. He, he draws a card instead of playing it when he sees the skeletons coming. I guess he has another one. He's, is he still dead, though? Whoa! You're, Brad is so hardcore, man. Brad is so hardcore. <laughs> Skeletons! I know I wanted my mono black brew to be the skeleton brew, but I think this one's it. Okay. So he does survive, just barely. Uh, we can descend, which is hilarious. Watch this. So, okay. Yes. That goes in our graveyard, which descends it, by the way. Oh! I descended the... Oh, my God. I messed up, though. I am <laughs> Guys, I clicked the wrong one. Don't hate me. This would be in play. Am I going to get screwed over for that? This would be in play if I did it right. Uh, okay. Do we have a way to do one damage? Just give me a land. Yeah, he'd be dead, right? Is he still dead? No, right? I'm out of control, guys. <laughs> Trying to make it hard on myself. I'm trying to make it hard on myself. My God. Um, so we do this. Or do I do this, actually, to solve it? No, I do this because I wanted to set. No, I don't want it to set. Is that game anyways? <laughs> That's game, isn't it? Alright, I solved the puzzle, guys. I don't know why my brain wasn't working. That is menace. <laughs> uh, guys, just... Just understand, if I mess up this much and still crush at this level, the deck must be working, right? Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, Yamato, let's go. Looks nice to me. We can just get these down, so that's fine. We need one land for real. For real. We need one land for real. Yeah, playing 25 lands and missing the land drops hurts the soul. When I'm used to playing aggro decks with like 23, 22 lands. Ah, yes. I mean, he's probably going to counter me, right? Whatever. Whatever, sir.
<laughs> Dude, I hate these decks. I would never play them. They're so boring. <laughs> Just gonna be truthful. They're boring. We actually have a fun play though. So you ready? Uh, we do this. We kill Wandering Emperor. We do this, draw a card. We do Force of Descend, let's go. Let's go, baby. The problem with these decks is um, you force a 20 minute game with people that don't want to play 20 minute games. <laughs> sure he has a counter spell. We do have another though. Hopefully we get one of these off. All right, sir. Is he gonna sunfall? Who would have thunk? We are just gonna get this off. Doesn't quite make sense, but we have another one just in case somehow three creatures die on our turn. I guess it could happen, right? He doesn't really have creatures though. We still are kind of in it, but get out of this nightmare. <laughs> Good game. All right, Dark Death Fairy. The only two games we've lost, one I didn't show, were we just resigned in control matches. We were still kind of in both of them, but... Who's trying to play a 20-minute game like that? <laughs> it's fun when there's a lot of things going on, you're doing creatures, but just... No not going to happen for me at least all right we are just going to get this bad boy in the bane of mono red this is also the bane of mono red <laughs> Well, ain't that pretty. Skeletons and a blocker. We're about to have two. Give us some more lands and we're going to have a lifelink bat. attack in why not right we can block with this and then put our bat down the bat is the downfall of mono red for sure look how beautiful those blocks are we didn't even do damage to felden
Oh, that was Ikor. <laughs> I thought it was the pirate giving me uh, mana. I mean, whoops. So with that being the case, what do we do here? Um... We could solve the case, but I think that's good enough. So he is dead if he doesn't stay on blocks, because we're pushing this in. But that would have been nice too, but... Pretty nice to crush Mono Red. Check out one of these two videos. Remember, I make a unique deck every single day. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Let's go, baby.